Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long while since I put out a new video. So today's video, I will be focusing on Vaccinator X. This is a new version of Vaccinator and they have a few new features that I'm going to go through. Uh, but I think for this video, I'm just going to go through the auto trace. Everybody's been clamoring about this for a long time. So let's see how auto trace works in Vaccinator X. So let's have a look. So let's begin Vectinator X. So now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to do this particular artwork by auto tracing this picture of a cupcake. This video is just a run through of an auto trace feature of the new Vectinator X. So let's get started by creating a new document. I'm just going to use an A4 size. All right, and then I will begin by importing by tapping on this plus sign and I'm going to go to camera roll and then I'm going to get this picture of a cupcake. So that is done. So what I'm going to do now, once this is selected, to make sure that it is selected, tap on this arrow tool and tap on it. Now you can tap on style this particular brush icon and this image auto trace option will be available to you you can set the number of path okay the max is 500 the more paths there are the closer the image will look like the original all right so now i'm going to set the path to 500 and I'm going to auto trace. There it is. Now, what is the difference? This and I'm going to undo, select this, and I'm going to set to the least, which is two. And auto trace. Two paths only. So let's take a look at the layers. Tap on the layers button. And let's see how many curves there are. Okay. it's a lot as you can see okay so once you auto trace you can actually remove all these things individually they've all been separated for you now I don't want it to look like that go to style I'm going to set the max number of path to about 250 and what about this minimum path size let's check it out so let's set it to 10% and let's auto trace. As you can see, if it is 10%, it will just produce a block like that. So we don't want this. So let's change it. How about making it half, about 5% and let's auto trace. Let's see what happens if it comes like that. So I don't want that. So I'm gonna, just going to leave it to zero. And we're going to set number, the number of paths to 500. Auto trace. So as you can see from here, let's take a look. There are a lot of curves, the paths over here. So now that we have this image, and this image looks like a very nice watercolor style. Okay. So, but for now, I'm just going to select this particular cupcake the one that is in front so Vectinator X has a very good tool which is this one the eraser tool the vector eraser tool so with this I can easily erase okay the rest I'm just gonna increase the size of the eraser I'm just gonna erase and carefully I'm just gonna erase around this cupcake Okay, so this is done. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate this layer. To duplicate this layer, all you have to do is go to the Layers tab, swipe to the left, and you can see three options here. You can share it, you can duplicate, or you can trash it. I'm going to duplicate this. 
I'm gonna lock this original layer, but I'm not, I'm not gonna see this, okay? So what, now we're dealing with the top layer here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join all of them together. You wait for it. This will take a long time because there's a lot of paths. Okay, so that is all joined up. So let's separate them. Wait for a while because there's a lot of paths there. Take note that I'm using the iPad Pro. If you're using a different iPad, it might take a lot longer. Okay, now that we have separated all of them, tap on the edge and then tap on the scissor tool to cut. Now that we have all of this, select all of this and then press the trash button here. We're going to paste. Press the paste button and there you are. So now we only have this big piece, not the smaller tiny pieces which are inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the fill to nothing. But first you need to select and turn it off. Next, the strokes. For the strokes, we need to set the stroke to a black color like that. Now that you see it over here, you can set the width of the stroke to 2. To bring this up, you just tap here. Or you can use the slider bar over here. I'm just going to be precise and I'm just going to tap and select 2. Well, that is done. So the outline is done. Now we can turn this on and you can see this is a very nice outline. So if you want to make it even nicer, smoother for the outline, I'm just going to turn this off and let's zoom in. Select this select the tool and we're just going to select this particular anchor point and press this trash button over here okay over here I'm going to trash it again okay just make it smooth all right I think it's relatively fine and let's turn this back on all right I think I'm gonna make this outline a lot thicker I'm just gonna select this Set the style, set the stroke to maybe 4. And done. Okay. Alright, so we're happy. I'm happy. Let's make a new layer. And this time around, we're going to add some details. Again, we're going to use some strokes. We're going to use some uh, pencil or a pen. So let's select this layer. And turn this on. Okay. So make sure you're drawing on the right layer. So I'm going to use the pencil stroke width to a bit thinner like that. Let's see what happens. All right, so that's good. Just add some minor details. Looks as if it's a, a druid from scratch. All right, looks cartoony. I like it. I think we're almost done here. I'm going to use the brush stroke. I'm going to set the stroke to about 4. And I'm just going to write the title. Chocolat. Okay, we're done. So that is Vectinator X Auto Trace. It looks like um, watercolor. If you want something like an outline, work something like this i'm going to show you something like this this is a bit difficult to do within vectinator x on its own okay so i'm going to show you a different method which uses a different app in conjunction with vectinator x so not to worry i will go into this in another video coming soon so now that we know how Vectinator works for the auto trace, I think there's um, a lot more room for improvement because uh, if you were to do some auto tracing outlines like this, you need another app like 
like this called in my engine which I am going to use and I'm going to show you in my next video okay so I'll see you then bye